from macintoshhowto.com and I'm showing you how to find the biggest photos in your iPhoto lab library that might be taking up a lot of space. So here's my photos app. It's got um, 17,000 photos in it. How do I know which photos are taking up the most space? Well, you can't do that from the photos app, but you can do it by finding where your photos are stored. So it's in your Macintosh hard drive. You need to go to the users folder, which is your own user. There's my new user, Wayne. In that, there's a folder called pictures. That's where um, your photos are stored and they're stored in this folder called photos library. Now you can actually see how big your photos library is if you go up here to view and view options and turn on this checkbox that turns on the size. That now, and you want calculate all sizes so it calculates the size of the folders. Now you can see it's showing my photos library is 58 gigabytes. Now I want to see which files are big in this so I right click on photos library and show package contents which is going to show me inside my library. There are all the folders. Again I go show view options and I want to see the sizes and make sure calculate all sizes is on. Now it's showing me the size of the individual folders and I can sort them and I can see that this originals folder is where the biggest files are so I can open that. Again I want to see the view options to see which folders taking the biggest size. Make sure size is on and all sizes is on. There we go. There's these folders that, that looks like I'll sort by size. That's the biggest one. And let's have a look inside that folder. Again, sort by size. That's my biggest file in this folder. It's 149 megabytes. It's a movie. It's a quick time movie. You can see the kind of thing it is there. So I can click on that, press the space bar to see what it is. This is our water system. It's a video about a drinking trough. I can delete that. I can drag it out of the library, but at least it helps me see that that's taking up a fair bit of space. Then I might go down to the second folder. Again, sort by size, and there's another movie that's taking up a fair bit of space. You might actually find some really big movies that are taking up gigabytes of data that you need to delete. None of these are particularly big because I've actually been through and done this before and got rid of big ones. But this is the way of going into your iPhotos library and working out which ones are taking up the most space. And what I might do is I might drag these out of here to my desktop so that I get rid of the big ones. So, oops size that big one let's get rid of it there's another big movie i don't particularly like having movies in my iphoto library so this is just a way of getting rid of the bigger movies what's that one that's another farm one get rid of that one so i'm going through and i'm finding what are the big movies there's a piano one in my iPhoto's library and moving them out. What I can do then is I can put these on an external hard drive or store them somewhere else, but it's just the way of getting the larger files out of your iPhoto's library so that you can reduce how much space it's taking on your hard drive. A quick summary, because that was a little bit complicated. You go into your hard drive, users, Wayne, or whatever your name is, pictures, you right click on the photos library, you go to originals, and then to see the size, you've got to go view, show view options, make sure the size is on, and make sure calculate all size of folders is on. And that way you can organize your folders by the biggest ones and go through and see what's taking up the most space.